Hey everyone, my name is Sharon Daruka and I am currently pursuing a Master's in Digital Marketing Management at Cardiff Metropolitan University in Cardiff, which is the capital of Wales. I am also a Sharing Scholar, hence I will be doing these videos as a Sharing Social Media Ambassador. Well, I'll be sharing my journey in Cardiff as a Sharing Scholar, as well as a Master's student in the UK. I'm going to show you a tour around my uni, as well as Butte Park, which is close to my uni as well. So basically what I do is create content um, that showcases my life as a student in the UK, as a Shivanam student in the UK. So this, uh, the content includes places that I visit, um, the conferences that I attend and just the basic life in the UK. I love showing people where I've been just as a way of like, listen, there's more that you can do out there, here are the places that you can visit and so forth. So, and I'm also studying a digital marketing management course. So that is in line with creating content using social media platforms. And when I noticed that there was a role for social media ambassador, I was like, okay, listen, I do have the skills, I do have the interest of showcasing and sharing my life on social media. Why not do it for a great purpose, such as the sharing scholarship. The hardest part is it's very instantaneous, like you need to keep doing it, you need, like there's no time to break and to take a break and sometimes you miss out on opportunities. So like myself right now, I'm, I'm battling a master's in one year, right? And then you still have to create content and edit the content. Um, that is quite a lot of work. So sometimes right now I'm sitting with folders of videos that I need to edit and put out there and I understand that at some point some of these videos will not be time relevant. So what usually happens with social media is people have this idea that it should be perfect, everything you post should be perfect and I've been able to share not just the beautiful parts of my journey but also the ugly days. I do cry on social media, I do post like listen guys I am struggling today and this is how my day looks like. So the ability to be myself and be my authentic self is what people relate to and that is what I would say would make my content special that it's very authentic and based on who I am. In terms of checking likes and comments, this I remember at the beginning of my social media journey, I used to be like, okay, how many people like my content? How many people? And this is where, um, to keep saying, I have this thing where I sort of switched off the number of people that have liked my stuff. So I don't see it. I don't get to see like, oh, how many people liked it? So I'd be like, oh my gosh, there should be more. It shouldn't be more. I don't care how many people like it in that sense because Sometimes for me as a digital marketer, or if that's the route I intend to go, um, there's stuff like vanity, vanity metrics, like likes and, and, and likes can be um, vanity, like it doesn't mean anything. So the only time I actually go and see who like my stuff is in terms of understanding my audience. It is very rewarding um, to get messages to see that what you are doing is impacting someone's life and I think generally that is what I want to be able to do, impact someone's life in terms of encouraging them or influence them to um, pursue this amazing opportunity of being a Shivanak scholar or just studying in the UK in general. So it does feel very rewarding and it shows that I'm not just on social media putting in the hours and just sharing my life for nothing. There are people that are actually watching and there are people that are inspired. So it feels really rewarding. Your vibe will attract your tribe. So if you're being authentic in your vibe, your tribe will be there and you will not feel the need to seek for validations because you are operating in a community that understands who you are and you feel supported in that way as well. So definitely your authentic vibe attracts your tribe.